In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the Divi footer from certain pages. But before we get started, we need to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. So what you want to do is to scroll down and click on get it for free today. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the files. So the next step now is to import the footer and the header onto our website. So here I have my website open. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme builder. Next, I'm going to come over here and click on portability, click on import. And now I need to add my footer that I've just downloaded. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here and then click on import DV theme builder templates. So since you're working on the footer, we might as well go ahead and delete this header. Now, when we take a look at this, this is applying to the whole website. So if we need to exclude this from specific pages or specific posts, here's what we need to do. You need to come over here and duplicate this. Next, you wanna come over here and click on this gear icon and then choose where you want this to show. So I'm gonna say all posts. So I'm gonna select that and click on save. Next, if you don't want this footer to display on all blog posts, all you have to do now is to click on this eye icon and that will disable the footer on all blog posts. So if I come over here now on a blog post, if I scroll all the way down, you notice that we do not have a footer. But if I go to my homepage, our footer here is showing. All right, so let's move on to the second example. And in this example, we're going to exclude the footer on specific pages. Let me show you how. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here to the global footer and disable this. Next, you want to come over here, click on these three little dots and then go to manage template assignments. So here is where you can go in and choose the specific pages that you want to show this footer on. So you can go and say, OK, use it on all pages and select that. But if you do not want to use it on all pages, you can also come over here to exclude from and then you can go to specific pages you want to exclude the footer from. So you can go in and select the pages that you don't want this footer to show on and all these pages are going to show here. All right, so let's move on to number three. So for this method, we're going to remove the default DV footer. So for this, what you need to do is to uh, delete everything that we've created so far and then come over here and create a brand new template. So click on this plus button and this one here is going to be applied to the home page. So click that and select it and click on create template. The next step now is to add a custom footer, but do not put anything in it. So I'm going to click here and say build custom footer. And then I'm just going to close and save. So here's what happens. So now that I've created this footer to go on the home page and there's nothing in it, if we come over here to the home page and refresh, we notice that there is nothing here at the bottom of the footer. So if you want this to apply to the rest of the pages, all you have to do is to add all your pages to this template. So to do that, you want to come over here, click on these three little dots and then click on manage template assets and then choose the pages that you do not want to show this default footer on. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.